channel so this is my entry for the Australian Nynx face choice award I wanted to create a glamorous glitterified pixie queen and with a lot of color which is what I love so let's get into the tutorial so first we're going to actually prime her eyelids because we want those eyeshadows to pop and this is the most important part of the makeup anyway and then going in with this beautiful hot pink eyeshadow now I chose hot pink because who doesn't love pink but it also it just brings her eyes out so much I wanted them to pop and then going in with the fluffy brush because I want to blend all those harsh lines I want them to be very nice and smoked out um, then I chose this nice sort of greeny blue color and I just kept that right on the crease area now this is my favorite eye base now this is the white NYX eyeshadow base, which I love putting underneath color. It just makes them pop. And I'm just creating like an illusion of a half petal right in the inner corner. And then just using a white eyeshadow just to mattify it. Then going in with the NYX white eyeliner because I want to just give it a little bit more texture just on the edges. Now this was my favorite part because I wanted to create a very artistic sort of cat eye on her and I love art and this is, was an, a great opportunity just to express my artistic side. Now going in with a gel glitter, this will just hold all the glitters that I added on her eyes. I used about four to five different glitters because I wanted her to shine. I want those eyes to pop and these glitters were perfect. And then I added this little tiny love hearts to just give her that girly look. Now I'm just starting the base for the face. So I did conceal first before foundation just to get rid of her redness on her skin. Then went in with a nice light foundation because I want her skin to be very full coverage and also mattified. Now going in with a HD finishing powder by NYX. This is my best friend. I love this powder. I use it for baking as well. You can just get a sponge and just bake under the eye area and it's perfect for anything. Now I'm using a nice dark purple just to add a little bit more color underneath. And then I went in with a more darker purple to give a more depth into the color. Now going in again with that gel glitter and adding more glitter underneath her eyes just to match up that purple and also match up the top part of her eyelids which you know I'm, I'm a fan of glitter it needs to have glitter and stones uh, that is my favorite thing ever. Now I've I decided to actually use a black pencil in her waterline to intensify the colors to pop out more. I know black eye waterline pencil makes her eyes shrink but also this was just gives her that more seductive beautiful look. Then going in with the bronzer now I bronze her skin very intense because you know this is an artistic look so I want her cheekbones very chiseled and I want her face and everything to be very very colored and contoured.
Now, this is, was very tricky for me, but I managed to do it um, in one piece. I do use different brushes to do this sort of artistic sort of swirls, but with this eyeliner I was using, it was a little bit hard, but I managed to do it at the end. Now filling in her brows, she did have them done beforehand but they were tinted but with the wig that we do put on her, I wanted her eyebrows to match exactly like the wig. So here I'm adding like more structured lines under her brows just to give her a more artistic look to the whole pixie look. Um, I did try to do them symmetrical with each brow but also I didn't want them to look exactly the same. As it is art I wanted to look like Picasso for example. The lines don't match but this is art. This is what I call art. Then going in with a beautiful highlighter as I wanted to intensify the highlights of her face and also, you know, what pixie doesn't have highlight. Going in with this amazing mascara by NYX and just applying it on her lashes. Now you can use any eyelash that you can find and I love thick eyelashes and this was perfect. I did add some bottom lashes as well to give the look a more dramatic look. Now here I'm just sticking some stones and I did add a few around her face just to give a more artistic look to it. Now for the lips, I did mix like four different lipsticks and I know everyone asks me what color did you use? It's so hard because you get a specific color and then again you won't be able to redo it again. So this is a very unique color for her. And then I added a little bit more of a lighter lilac right in the center to give it more an ombre effect. Now going in with that gel glitter again on the bottom lip and then I'm adding all the glitter that I add on her eyes on her bottom lip. Then I decided to actually put um, just a little dot of glue right in the center and added this beautiful Shalaski stone. And I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. If I don't, please correct me if I'm wrong. So basically that's it. So this is the look guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you thumbs it up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you for my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.